to use in a biofumigant is a cover crop between our crops, either for our uh, annual crops like potatoes or in my brother's case uh, uh, strawberries and for us also we use it for prior to planting our uh, fruit trees and so it's a process that we start out in uh, early spring and plant uh, royal seed radish and, and along with some field peas and that those are positive things for building up the nitrogen as well as uh, well, seed radish has a big root system and it helps to break the roots and break the uh, soil up. And then uh, we have to take it down at a particular stage uh, when the pods that get developed. This is after they bloom, but when the pods just start, uh, they're quite thin at that time because we don't want to have a mature seed. Yeah. Uh, then we, we uh, take that down, disc that down, then we'll come back in as soon as we have the time and we'll plant mustard seed and oats. And the mustard seed uh, will then will grow for uh, generally it's about a month, month and a half, and then uh, it's, when it gets up into its flower stage, it'll also start producing the, the seed pods, and, and we have to take it down before those get mature, also. And that's very critical. And the mustard is is really the biofumigant. Uh, so, in that stage is right, we have to take it down, cut it up, and seal it. And so what we do is we take a disc and a disc and a, and a color packer behind the disc and it will double disc the field. And that will generally, uh, it'll, it'll enable us to, to get it incorporated but also get it sealed right away. And there's a particular kind of uh, mustard that you use? We use uh, 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 Pacific Gold mustard variety. And that's the one that they, when they did the testing, it turned out to be positive for a biofumigant. So sometimes we do it before we uh, take the mustard seed down, and sometimes we do it after, is we put a, a, a layer of compost on. And uh, so you have the micronutrients that are in that compost, so you reintroduce the, the whole series of micronutrients or microorganisms into that complex. Fumigants, you know, it's it's uh, facing an uncertain future for one thing, and when a chemical fumigant comes in, it pretty well uh, wipes out everything in the soil. It's basically uh, almost a sterilization. You know, we're just concerned about doing that to our soil. We want to keep our soil alive and active. And uh, this would be really the only way to fumigate and be able to certify organic ultimately. Yes. Yep. That and it's. Uh, that's a key point. Uh, in, in this farm, uh, we are moving a number of crops into the organic uh, aspect. So.